Welcome to Nintendo Engineers. I'm your host, Chris Tysis, and this is the NNN Show. And we're here to talk about the, well, the biggest issue that's um, uh, grippling, you know, just taking over the world, which is the, uh, the coronavirus. Uh, the virus that's basically taking over the world. Um, over 5,000 people have died. Um, over 100,000 and ticking have been exposed to this um, to this virus. And, you know, all the countries in the world are having a lot of problems, especially in Italy and uh, China, and quarantines, uh, people panicking and running off to shopping uh, stores and things like that even. My local shop has run out of uh, goods and things like that, and people being aggressive here in Australia, you know, people getting beaten up for toilet paper and pasta and rice and all these basics. So we're here to talk about <clears throat> um, the impact for Nintendo. Obviously, I'm not a health expert. I won't be providing any information about what to do with this virus. So go and listen to your health authorities on that matter. And of course, you know, the World Health Organization is uh, working pretty hard on this, I will be saying, and working with all countries involved in this. So with Nintendo, I think we can sort of split it up all two or three categories. I think number one is the people who work for Nintendo. And they're starting to work from home. I think a couple of them have the the virus in question. <clears throat> And they will be in self-isolation for a couple of weeks or more, um, whatever time is necessary for them. So th people will be able to work from home and um, do work on video games and advertising and, and whatever work is required for that. And that could be for a few months or even more than that. So <clears throat> moving on from that, um, the hardware situation is going to be the hard one. Is, is going to be the difficult one because you can see in Japan there's a lot of um, um, supply chain issues. You see low sales of the Nintendo Switch and even the Ring Fit um, adventure game in Japan, but that's unrelated uh, to the virus. Um, so you, you're going to see a lot of shortages worldwide, I think, on consoles and things like that. Over, over the weeks and the months, that will happen. And that's going to be a really tough situation at this point now what can we do about the hardware situation well if you've already got a switch console and you've already got um that sort of thing there's no problems for you but for people wanting to buy a switch you're going to have a big issue about that and that's going to be something that um you know people will have to deal with at the moment they can't sort of change the uh, manufacturing from China to another country so quickly because other countries are dealing with the virus too. So it's it's something that you can't really escape at the moment, I would say. So hardware is going to be the, the difficult part. Now with software, um, if worse comes to worse, it will be limited physical releases and just digital. You can just upload it to the cloud and upload it to the servers and release a game like that. So... Um, the release of new games shouldn't be impacted so much, but <clears throat> you may see delays. Um, some game delays due to people being a bit unwell and that sort of thing. That, that could be an issue too. That would probably be the only reason why games would be delayed uh, due to pe people being sick and unwell and all that sort of stuff. So that's, that's going to be... Um, possibly a potential issue with software. But I think that things will mostly go well, even people in self-isolation. If they're not feeling um, any of the symptoms, then they can probably work at home and just sort of, you know, um, sit out of society for the time being. But um, that's pretty much all that I can really say about it. This is such a changing uh, dynamic that things are changing, not just by, by the day, but by the hour and by the minute. And... We just don't know what's going to happen. We know this is this is not something that's going to be over in a couple of weeks or a couple of months. This this will probably um, dominate the news for most of the year or right into the uh, to the end of twenty twenty. So, unfortunately, this year has really sucked. It hasn't been great, especially here in Australia with the bushfires and 
there was a hailstorm here in Canberra and um, now we're dealing with the this worldwide pandemic um, virus, which is just insane. And I've just I've never sort of lived through this type of thing before. So and I think a lot of people haven't too. So this is going to be a really interesting thing. And um, you know the only advice um, you can really give each other is wash your hands and that. I'm washing my hands all the time. I actually made um, a little art poster in childcare to um, teaching kids how to wash their hands and things like that. So, but um, it is, yeah, it's just, it is a really crazy panicky time for a lot of people. You know, there are people who are um, obviously stressed about it. There are others who are really going overboard and grabbing everything in the shops that they can. You only really need stock for a few days, but people are grabbing stocks for months, um, thinking that this is um, going to really hurt them but yeah it means that other people you know less unfortunate people will miss out on stocks and things like that but yeah um i don't know how this year is going to go for everyone it's it's going to be taking it a day at a time and an hour at a time isn't it and uh well the tr well like you for me seeing that i do things online um things won't change for me i'll still be making videos and streaming and that so i might have a few people in self-isolation watching me so it's going to be a bit weird isn't it um to sort of have that sort of that sort of added factor to it so who knows what's going to happen um with the whole ordeal but um we can only just listen to the experts and and follow what they say and don't panic um about the virus and all that sort of thing so that is it for me and i shall see you next time